Hi, this is Ashwin from Circuit Digest and in this video I'll show you how you can quickly test if your transistors are working using a simple multimeter like this one. So before you get started make sure the black probe is placed on the COM port and the red probe is placed on V slash MA. Once you've made that sure you can put your multimeter into diode mode. You can find the diode symbol here. Just turn your multimeter dial to the diode mode. Then you can take the transistor that you want to test and I'm just going to place it on a breadboard so that it is easy for me to demonstrate. Now what we have to do is take our two probes and check for voltage drop between the first two pins and the second two pins of the transistor. If you find a voltage drop it means your transistor is working. If you don't find any voltage drop it means your transistor is not working. So we are not sure which pin is the positive and which pin should be the negative. So we will just try it with hit and trial method. So I'll place my negative probe here and positive probe here. And as you can see, I'm already getting a voltage drop of 795 or 796 millivolts. So it means the first two pins have no problem. And I know the center pin is negative now. I'll just place the probe here and check if I'm getting any voltage drop. Okay, again, I'm getting a voltage drop of 796 millivolt. So this means this transistor is perfectly working. Now, if I have placed the probes in the opposite direction, say, for example, if I place the red here and the black here, I would not get any voltage drop so I just have to make it make sure that I place the probe right. So this is a hit and trial method. In some cases it will be black first and red next. In some cases it will be red first and black next. So this transistor is working. Let's test with another transistor. So again I'll mount it on the breadboard and let's try red first and black second. Okay I'm not getting any voltage drop so I have to change the polarity and go ahead. So now I'm getting a voltage drop between the first two pins and I know that the second pin is positive. I'll just shift the probe and if I'll check if there is a voltage drop on the second two pins as well. Yes, so I am getting a voltage drop on both the pins. So this transistor is also working. So this is how you can test if a transistor is working using a simple multimeter. If you're not getting voltage drop on both the pins, it means your transistor is not working. Even if there is no voltage drop on any one of between any two of the pins, it also means the transistor is not working. Using the same method, you can also find that if a transistor is a NPN transistor or a PNP transistor, and you can also find the collector base and emitter pins on the transistor. For all those, you can watch the next two videos that are linked here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.